new episode of the Riff Rundown with my friends at Fishman. Today's episode is pre-recorded. Don't worry, we're still gonna have a lot of fun today. This is a really, really fun song. I know one of my favorites from the 90s to play. There's a couple parts, there's a couple chords. We're gonna be in standard tuning here. We're gonna be learning short skirt, long jacket by the band Cake. Really, really fun song. So I've got an electric guitar here in standard tuning. Uh, I encourage you guys to grab your electric guitars too. This one's fun. Geared towards everybody, beginners, really great riffs here that you can absolutely play. So my beginners, join us. This is gonna be a fun one. So as always, before we get started, you guys know I like to ask a question. So let me know where you are tuning in from and your favorite song that came out of the 90s. So where you're tuning in from and your favorite song that came out of the 90s. So this is Short Skirt, Long Jacket by Cake. Here we go. <laughs> the tune we're learning today. Really, really fun one here. Really cool like timing too with the riffs. But as you notice, we're staying pretty much as far as the riff goes, right? E string and A string. So this is great. Again, standard tuning here, electric guitar, <clears throat> short skirt, long jacket by Cake. So let's go ahead and get started here. Let's look at the intro riff. Now this intro riff, again, we're killing two birds with one stone here. We're gonna see it in the verse too, all right? So let's go ahead, I'll play it a little bit slower than I did at the top. This is gonna be our intro, and I'm gonna break it down into two, two parts, or three parts rather, so here we go. <laughs> Let's go ahead and break it up part by part. Okay, let's start with part one. So I like to play it this way with my fourth finger, right? I, I don't do this. Kind of like to use my fourth finger. This is what I like to do. It feels most comfortable for me when I am playing this particular tune. I like to have that pinky play that Right, that, that whole step that we see here. I like to do that. If you'd rather use your third finger, totally fine. So let's go ahead and get started here. So what we're gonna do here, your third or fourth finger, okay, placing that on the fifth fret of the A string. It's gonna be our D note. And we're gonna play it and then mute it with our left hand. This part, or our, our, our picking hand rather, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and just mute it with this part of our hand, all right? So it's gonna be like this and quiet and it's going to be a downstroke too with a pick like that so we've got and we're going to do this hammer on pull off okay from that c note to d note we're going to do that two times so get your first finger there c note third fret of that a string hammer on with the third or fourth finger okay your choice we're going to do that two times. So this whole riff has two notes, a D note and a C note. So this is how we play it. Now, at that D note there, the first one, remember, using that part of our hand to mute, at the very end of the entire riff, go ahead and do the same thing. So go ahead and do that together. Mute. Okay. Last time. All right. Now, part two, 
of our riff is gonna go like this. We've got some really cool pull-offs here. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start it on our C note, okay? First finger, third fret of the A string. We're gonna go ahead and do that hammer on yet again, okay, using our third or our fourth finger to hit that D note there at the fifth fret of the A string. So, okay, nice, good, strong hammer on here. We wanna do, when we play any kind of note, any kind of chord, right? Wanna make sure we get as close to that fret as possible. If we get right on top of that fret, we're gonna get kind of a dull sound. That we don't want. Get as close as you can to the fret to ensure that we get our sharp, our, our, our clearest note possible. I don't wanna say sharp, because we don't, we, don't, we don't wanna be sharp, right? <laughs> So we want to get close to the fret as we can without touching it to get a good, nice, clear tone out of those notes. Okay, so hammer on to that D note, then release, right? Pull off back to the C note, third fret of the A string. Now, when we do this, we want to make sure we have enough, right, power here with that picking hand to make sure that we can get all three of those notes on one strike. See what I mean? See how I move my hand out of the way so we can see how much you know strength you need to give that, that strumming hand? Okay. Now when you're playing it live, of course, you wanna stay close by, but for, for this exercise, just to show you how much power we need there, okay? So, that's the last part of this second part of the riff. I get that first finger there, the one that's on C, okay? I'm gonna pull off to go ahead to play the A note on the open A string. Now, if you notice there, I only stru I, I, I struck the string one time only for all four of those notes. So that pull off, you're gonna pull downward on the string. We don't wanna tug it too much, so we don't wanna get out of tune. We don't want to do that. It's a light pull off, okay, to play that A note. Let's go ahead and do that again. Let's play it a little slower, all right? So here we go. Let's take our time with this. And notice we're only striking that A string one time. Last time. Let's go ahead and combine it with part one. Here we go. Let's do that again. And last time. Okay, it's just like that. Some really cool technique here in just a small amount of notes, but man, it's really, really, really catchy. It's great, it's great. So let's go ahead and now look at the next part, okay? It's gonna be F to G to A, all on the E string, okay? First fret of the E string, F. We're walking up to G. Use your third finger, sliding that third finger to A, fifth fret of the E string. Okay, or if you wanna use your fourth finger like me, So, that one's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and combine parts one, two, and three together. Here we go. We'll slow it down just a little. Let's do that again. Now it's a little speed. I'm sure you can tell I'm tapping my foot as I'm doing this and I encourage you guys to when you're practicing this song along with other songs that you know tap along okay it's good to have that metronome going in your head it's a good good thing all right 
So that's the intro there, okay? And we have that, that happens three times at the top. All right, so the next part of this, now we're into the verse, right? So we're gonna have this in the verse for, for a while. Okay, a couple times, and I encourage you guys, listen to the song. There's no band like Cake, like cake that <laughs> includes a vibra slap so well in their tunes. And if you don't know what a vibra slap is, go and look it up after this lesson. Um, they're just such a fun band to listen to, really, really cool stuff. So for this next part that's in our verse, it's gonna go like this. <laughs> that's gonna be in there. It's only gonna happen one time. So let's go ahead and see how to play this. All right, so you're gonna get your fourth finger or your third finger, fifth fret of that A string, that's our D note. Then you're gonna get your first finger here on C, third fret of the A string. And back to D, fifth fret of the A string. So just back and forth between C and D. Just like that. Let's do it again. Okay. From there, we're moving, right? We're walking up. We're doing a walking line here from F sharp, first finger, second fret of the E string. Second finger, third fret of the E string, is our G note, to G sharp, third finger, fourth fret of the E string. And then our fourth finger, fifth fret of the E string, that's A, A is an apple. Okay, so that's the walk up from F sharp G, G sharp A. Okay, and having each of those fingers do that walk up, could you? Bad technique though. We wanna keep things nice and level. We wanna have our hand nice and well balanced here. As you can see, I can't see my thumb when I'm doing this. If my thumb was all the way up here, I couldn't reach, right? I get a lot of buzzing. So, like on the back of my Mustang here, okay, that has the Fishman Fluence P90 pickups here that completely rock, um, the, my thumb is on the skunk stripe on the back of the neck, okay? So that's where I'm placing it as I'm doing this walk up. Okay, and those of you may recognize this, as, you know, as part of the spider exercise too, which is a really good warm up in, its, in and of itself. Kind of see that walk up here which is really really great so let's go ahead and do that part okay parts one and two really really fun very like bassy right it's kind of neat so let's do that again just like that so let's go ahead and combine it okay with that intro Part, let's do this. One more time. Great line. So now we're gonna go to this next part here, also C verse, okay? It's gonna go like this, and it's gonna come immediately after our walk up from that F sharp to A, okay? So it sounds like this. So those are the chords that are in this song. Really, really fun chords here. They're gonna be bar chords, all right? So what we're gonna do here, those chords are gonna be D major, A major, and G major. All right, so we're gonna do here first finger, placing that on the fifth fret of that A string. Okay, that's our D note. You're gonna get your third finger here, placing it across the seventh fret of the D string, G string, and B string respectively, okay? If we're looking at what those notes are, seventh fret of the D string, that's gonna be A. 7th fret of the G string, that's going to be another D note there, and then 7th fret of the B string, it's going to be an F sharp. So that's our 1, 3, 5, D, F sharp, A. We've got them all here. Okay, 
So from there, we're going to go to an A major. So check this out. So we've got our bar here, all right? And, and, and the root of this bar chord is that D note here on the fifth fret of the A string. So check this out. So what we're gonna do here to build that A chord, okay? Remember that A was here, fifth fret of the E string. So bring this bar up. You're gonna cover all six strings, all right? Second finger placing that here on your C sharp, which is at the sixth fret of the G string. Okay, third finger reaching up, seventh fret of the A string, that's our E, that's our five. And then your fourth finger is seventh fret of the D string, that note is A. So we have an A major, A, C sharp, E. One, three, five, there they are. So we go from D major to A major. Let's do that again. From here, we're gonna to go to G. So as we know, A and G are a whole step apart. So if A major is here, right, we have our, our A note here, the fifth fret of the E string. Let's go ahead and bring everything back, this entire shape, bringing it back a whole step. So check this out, right? So we know that A is here and G is here, the third fret of the E string. However, we're playing a G major chord. What are those notes in G major? It's G, B, and D. Let's see if we can find them here, all right? Our one, three, five, G, B, D. So we have G here, right? Third fret of the E string. Our third finger should be on the fifth fret of the A string. That note is D, so there's our five. Check that off the list. Fourth finger should be on the fifth fret of the D string. That's another G note, okay? We got another root, cool. Second finger here, fourth fret G string. That's our B note, that's our third. So there we go. Check all three off the list. One, three, five, G, B, D, done, okay? However, your first finger is still barring all six strings, third fret of the B string, it's gonna be your D note, another five, and then third fret of the E string is G, so another root, so there you go. So there it is, pretty cool, right? So that's how we got there. So let's go ahead and look at the chords here and how we're playing them. So we've got D, A, one down strum each for those two chords. G chord, two down strokes. Just like that. Then we go back to A, and then we play D two times down strokes. All right, so let's do that nice and slowly here. So here we go. So keeping in mind here too, we're doing these bar chords, right? Notice how you didn't see my thumb. My thumb was on the skunk stripe, okay? The middle of the, the, the back of the neck here of the guitar. So the second our thumb comes up, it's gonna make it really, really hard to play these bar chords. So make sure the hand is well balanced. We are pushing through with the thumb, okay? Pushing inward with that first finger of the bar, all right? So I'm someone who likes to build the bar first and then build a chord inside for most cases. All right, so let's go ahead and do the intro, okay, with those fun riffs, and then into our chords, all right? So here we go. So that's what's happening there. Now, as we go into the chorus, there's a really great riff that happens, okay? And it sounds like this. We're gonna include the D, A, and G chords here. So it'll sound like this. It's a 
lot of fun. And hey, guess what? It's kind of a variation of what we did a few moments ago. So we're going to hit D major, downward stroke, one time. To A, downward stroke, one time. To G major, two downward strokes. Now, we're going to go to G one time. Just the note. So check it out. And then we're going to go to F sharp instead of G. We're going to go to the F sharp note one time. <laughs> like this. See how it's fast? Let's do that again. Now you're going to go back and forth with that F sharp and G, okay? F sharp at the second fret of the E string, G at the third. Just like that. And again, don't forget to alternate pick. And walk it up, G sharp to A. Let's do that again from the D major chord. Don't forget to alternate pick. Let's do that again. Pretty fun, right? So that riff is leading us into the chorus, but there's one more. All right. So what we're going to do here is this really cool. It's kind of fast. I'll play it fast and then we'll break it down. And here's how we do that. You're going to hit the A string three times by itself. One, two, three, like that, okay? Then you're gonna go, first finger, C sharp, fourth fret of the A string. Hit it one time, then open A string two times. So it'll sound like this. This is part one. Again. Okay, let's do that one more time. Now you're going to get that first finger again. Okay, I like to play this all with one finger. It's kind of fun. So, the next part here. Okay, get that first finger. Fifth fret of the A string. It's our D note. Strike it once. Open A string two times. Just like that. Let's combine it with part one. Here we go. Let's do that again. Climbing up again, okay? This time we're at the D sharp sixth fret of that A string. Strike it once and then open A once. Sounds a little wacky, but let's put it all together. Here we go. Again. to kind of resolve what's happening here. Getting that first finger now, placing it on the seventh fret, the A string, okay, that's our E note. We're gonna strike it three times. And don't forget to alternate pick, top, bottom, top, bottom of the string. Okay, I like to do a down, down, up stroke there. Okay, so let's put this whole thing together. Nice and slow, we'll build up the speed. play it with all four fingers, you can do it that way too. So let's go ahead and do it that way. Or with one finger. Okay, up to you. Sometimes if I'm feeling Maybe a little lazy. I'll do one finger. But if I want to use all four, you can. Okay, it's good practice. Good practice, it's fun. So that's what's happening there as we lead up to the chorus. So that first chorus, right, it gets really quiet. And listen to the song, because it's really fun. 
Then we go back into that riff. Okay, into our next verse, which is really, really great. All right, so that riff, we see it a ton, right? That intro riff. It's super, super fun to play. So we've got that, we go through that chorus riff, okay? And we go through the verse chords yet again. Remember, D to A to G. Now, let's go ahead and play through this whole thing thus far, all right? And I'll call out the parts. Let's go ahead and do the intro. I'll play a little faster. happens three times. To our chords. chord there if you want. Now here comes our ascending riff. Back to our intro. Okay, then we have some parts where we're just, the, the non on parts that we see second chorus. And all that is, guess what? We're just playing those D, A to G. Same way, same chords. All right, they've got horns in the back. It's a really fun part. Okay, have the walk up again, A chord to our ascending riff. Okay, pretty fun stuff. So that's what's happening there. So now we have an outro, all right? And the outro sounds like this, very similar, but we're gonna omit one note. It's really, really cool how it kind of leaves you hanging, it's great. So it sounds like this. And that's how the song ends. <laughs> it doesn't go to that A note, it's really great. So it's pretty much the intro without the A note at the end. So. Got here, go ahead and revisit that. So fourth finger or third finger on that D note, C to D, hammer on twice. C to D, back to C. To our open A note, pull off. Nice ginger pull off. Okay, very light. To F. And end on the G note, stop mute with this part of the hand. Let's go ahead and do that again. I'm gonna unmute there. Okay, let's do it again. One more time. And one more time for good luck, why not? So that's the whole tune. Again, really, really fun song to play. Super, the movement of it is really cool. It's a funny song too. It's just, it's, it's, it's a really, really fun one to play. Again, something for everyone in this tune. Now for my beginners, could you easily do the open chords for that section, right? The... You could, however, I, I like the snappy sound of the bar chords there. So I would encourage you to use the bar chords on that section, it was fun, but could you do those? You could, you could. But yeah, again, really, really fun song. Again, I wanna thank my friends at Fishman for helping me do these lessons. Week after week, you wanna check out all the cool stuff that they're up to, click the link in the video description. Again, as always, such an honor to be here with you guys and have so much fun learning this 